want to say uh, a lot of thanks to the organizer of the, this conference, uh, the Center for Strategic Studies and the, the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, and the Georgian Foundation for Strategic and uh, International Studies. Thank you for your, that you gave the, the big chance, the good chance for me to join this conference. And uh, my topic is the Silk Road Economic Belt is committed to promoting the development of the transport system in the Eurasian region. Uh, my point of view is, is that the Silk Road Economic Belt in is China's national development strategy committed to promoting the common development of China surrounding countries as well as Middle Asia countries, especially to promoting the development of the transport system in the Euro Asian region. I need to say, uh, many foreign colleagues uh, uh, just know the concept of uh, safe road economic belt, but not uh, they think the it's corridor for trade. I, I want to say the main idea of the Silk Road Economic Belt is common development. It's our, I think, it's our the main idea. It's not just the trade, but uh, it, it includes the um, cooperation in the uh, field, uh, finance, uh, financial field. Uh, include the culture exchange. The main idea is the home development. Uh, the Silk Road Econ Economic Belt is China's national uh, development strategy, uh, which was proposed by the Chinese new leaders on September uh, 7, uh, 2013. Our President Xi Jinping made a speech titled as promote people-to-people -people friendship and create a better uh, future at, at Kazakhstan's Nazarbayev University. Xi Jinping proposed that in order to make the economic ties closer, mutual um, cooperation deeper, and development space broader between the Eurasian countries. We can innovate the mode of cooperation and jointly build the Silk Road Economic Belt step by step to gradually form the overall uh, regional cooperation. It's the first time for Chinese leaders to have announced the concept of the Silk Road Economic Belt. Then, this concept was emphasized repeatedly on different chances like on the third plenary session of the 18th Central Committee, Committee of the Communist Party of China, on the Central Economic World Conference, and in many government work reports. Now, Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, which was proposed by Xi Jinping on October 2013, are called Chinese One Belt, One Road Strategy. Now it's very hot, it's very popular in China and in the other countries. Uh, China has taken firm steps to implement its strategy of the Silk Road Economic Belt by putting the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the Silk Road Economic into operation about this purpose. Uh, on October 24th, uh, October 24th, 2014, a uh, signing ceremony has been held in Beijing, formally recognized the establishment of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Uh, 21 countries have uh, had sent the memo, which included China, India, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, 
Singapore, uh, Philippines, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Brunei, Cambodia, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, Laos, Myanmar, Mongolia, Nepal, Oman, Qatar, uh, Sri Lanka, Uzbekistan, and the Vietnam. The authorized capital of the bank is $100 billion. Initial subscribed capital target is $50 billion. The contributed capital accounts for 20% of subscribed capital. The headquarters of the Asia Investment Bank will be located in Beijing. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank is open to other interested parties. Now it has at least 26 country members. At present, the founding members have uh, had agreed to take the enough weight of GDP as a base of share distribution of the foundation. On November 8, 2014, during a meeting with officials from Bangladesh, Cambodia, Laos, Mongolia, Myanmar, Pakistan, and Kazakhstan, President Xi Jinping announced that China will pledge $40 billion to set up a safe road fund that will finance the infrastructure construction linking markets across Asia. The Silk Road Fund is open to all investors, doesn't matter in Asia or not. In addition, in the next uh, few years, China will provide 20,000 training positions in the interconnection field for the neighboring countries. On November 9, 2014, at the Business Leaders Summit of APAC, Xi Jinping said that the Silk Road Fund will provide the financial support for the Silk Road countries about an infrastructure construction, resources exploitation, industry cooperation, financial cooperation, and the interaction related projects. The first round capital of the Silk Road Fund is $10 billion. From Chinese foreign exchange reserves, China import and export them, China investment cooperation and the China Development Bank. Now, the Silk Road Fund is the largest and the highest level government cooperation fund in China. Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan are the important countries in the Silk Road economic belt. Besides, Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan are our very good neighbors. Very good. We have a good relationship. The Silk Road Economic Belt is committed to promoting the development of the transport system in the Euro Asian region, include promoting cooperation between Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan in the field of international transportation. In February 2015, the first railway with transportation from China to Georgia was carried out. The railway is the shortest route between Europe and Asia. According to the reports, the freight transport from China to Georgia has 40 to 45 days on the watery ship. But through the international railway, China, Kazakhstan, Georgia only need nine days. With the opening of this route, only one way, there will be about 100 to 120 million dollars freight will be transport, uh, transported to Georgia. As the part will be this class, international railway project was completed. When the two railway lines were connected, this railway from China to Turkey is greatly uh, promote the development of transportation and the uh, logistic uh, industry innovation, promote economic development of countries in the Silk Road economic belt, and this the wide culture exchange. Thank you.